Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the President and Deputy Defense Minister of Western Armenia have visited Artsakh, the soldier's house, to have a new operating room with the support of the Belgian Foreign Ministry. Armenia Ombudsman responds to Azerbaijan President's statements about Armenians. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Kabrahamian, and Deputy Defense Minister Suren Shahumian have visited Artsakh. They have paid a visit to a number of monuments, paying a tribute to the memory of our heroes who died at the Artsakh Wars. A series of meetings will be held in the framework of the visit. The Soldiers' House will have a new operating room with the support of the Belgian Foreign Ministry. Malure Dadaem reports, Brussels has provided a grant for a modern operating room for soldiers. The verbal agreement was reached in December during the conversation between the foreign ministers of Armenia and Belgium and immediately passed to the practical stage. Human rights defender of Armenia Arman Tatoyan posted the following on his Facebook page in regard to the statements that President of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev made on April 13, 2021, excerpts from Aliyev's speech. Armenians have a disordered psychology. They need a good doctor. The poison of Armenians is from the diaspora. They want the Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh and Armenia to be their hostage, their tool, so that they can engage in sharp, chauvinistic ideas. Armenian society lives under the Iron Curtain and under the influence of these poisonous ideas. We are ready to support them in this matter. It simply came to our notice then. They were brought up as if they were the greatest nation in the world. They deserve full support. Everyone owes them. No one knows why. They used fake stories to gain personal and corporate benefits. Now everyone understands that their army does not exist. They have 10,000 deserters, 10,000 invincible army. Their whole perception has changed. You are absolutely right. It is a mutilation, a psychological mutilation. His speech is rooted in hatred and fascism, is racist. The speech aims to cause enmity between Armenia and Artsakh and the Armenian diaspora. Contrary to the above-mentioned speeches, the authorities of the Republic of Armenia have never pursued a state policy of hatred or enmity towards the people of Azerbaijan and ordinary people living in Azerbaijan. The human rights defender of the Republic of Armenia draws the attention of international organizations, especially those with a mandate, to protect human rights to the policy pursued by the President of Azerbaijan. Excavations are underway in the Hillary Caves in Ergan province, Tigranagert, Western Armenia. This place where people went from nomadic life to sedentary life, from hunting to agricultural products, where the first foundations of rural life were laid, has a history of 12,000 years. The excavations will take 12 months, based on studies by the Minister of Culture and Tourism. Everything will be done to include the historic site in the UNESCO World Heritage List in the near future. Hamlet Tovsepian, a collector of unique works of Armenian applied art, wrote on his Facebook page, During the genocide against the Armenians, the massacres and forcible deportations of Armenians from their homeland were accompanied by looting and destruction of Armenian cultural material and non-material values. During and after the genocide, the loot was mainly bought by foreigners operating in Turkey at that time and was spread all over the world. A century after the genocide, Items stolen from us are presented at world-famous museums and private collections. Unfortunately, we do not have at least one museum dedicated to the material and cultural heritage of the historical homeland, the western part, in the current Republic of Armenia, despite the fact that the archives of the History Museum of Armenia store huge amounts of materials brought to Armenia by immigrants. Let's hope that one day we will be able to really appreciate the real value of the huge cultural heritage passed down to us by our ancestors, and finally realize the importance of passing on what we have inherited to future generations. The final exhibition entitled Saint Chanel Armenian Graphics took place on April 17, 2021 at the Steel Graphics Museum in Gyumri. The exhibition was the largest of its kind in Armenia. About 400 works by more than 150 artists and sculptures were presented. In addition to Armenian artists, there were also Armenian artists from around 15 countries. A new Return to the Future exhibition will be presented in the museum on May 15. Hakob Kojoyan, Mina Savetisyan, Garzun, Grikor Khanjian, Gohar Isayan, Hakob Ananikyan, Angela Sarkisyan, Kamo Nigarian, and others are among the prominent figures of Armenian classical graphics presented at the exhibition. Still is the first and only graphic museum in Armenia. The museum's database contains about 6,000 engravings from the 17th and 21st centuries. 
300 graphic newspapers by Armenian classical and contemporary artists, and about 350 movie posters from Soviet films. The collection was supplemented with about 2,000 Soviet glass collections, which is unique and the only one in the post-Soviet territory. You can read the full article at the following link. Dear compatriots, the citizens of the Republic of Western Armenia, we present you the list of events dedicated to the commemoration of the genocide against the Armenians to be held on April 24, Saturday 2021, April 24. The following events will be held with the participation of the official representatives of the Republic of Western Armenia. Paris at 11 p.m. in front of the Comitas Monument, Canada Square. Lyon at 11 p.m. commemoration in front of the memorial, Antonin Ponset Square. Marcel at 11 p.m. in front of the mother and her four sons monument in the memorial park. Draginia at 5 p.m. in front of the monument of Armenia, Ale Dazemar. Mandeli at 11 p.m. commemoration in front of the Khachkar, Armenia Square. Antipas at 3 p.m. commemoration in front of the Marichon monument, November 11 Avenue. Yerevan at 11 p.m. near the memorial of the genocide against the Armenians. Now I present you Markaritner Assemble. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.